Hey guys, this is Fatula Fatula Fatul's Pet de la. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, again, welcome. Please subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Turn on that notification bell so that when I post, you are the first to watch. Without wasting more of your time, let's get right into the video. So as you can see from the title of the video that I will be doing um, a Q&A. So I found these questions on Twitter, it's like random questions, so I'm just going to go through them. I haven't actually gone through them, I probably saw the first um, three questions. And I was like, maybe I should do this for my channel because, I don't know, I just want to be consistent but at the same time give you content that you would like. And I think the only time that I did a get to know me tag was at the very start of my channel. So I just thought to myself... Um, let me just go ahead and do this. Maybe you guys will just get to know me. That's if you don't already know me, but I doubt you do. But yeah, so the first question is, how are you? How am I? I'm great, can't you tell? I mean, <laughs> I'm joking. I am okay, okay. Wow, okay. I, I'm not sure I like how this is starting. And the second question is, what attracts people to you? I don't know I always ask myself the same question like even with my current friends I always just ask them but why are you friends with me I'm always just questioning them like why me because I just feel like I'm just so weird and an airhead at times so what attracts people to me I think it's my personality because I like to believe that I am approachable I'm inviting and I'm considerate I'd like to think that I'm a considerate person and that um, what else I don't know I'm I'm chilled. How do I? I'm chilled. Like, come hang with me. You'll see. I'm quite chilled. Um, the next question is, how do you become friends with people? Yo, how do I become friends with people? I spend more time with them? I think. I'm not sure. Because it takes time before I actually give somebody that, um, before I label the people in my life as friends. Oh my gosh, these kids. Sorry. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I think by spending more time with them and just talking about different things about life, like the economic state of our country, how we see things, how we like our different opinions and all of that. You see, for me, I don't mind people who disagree with me or with my opinions. But once I see that you don't respect my opinion, I'm like, nah, I can't hang with you because I like to think that I'm open minded. Not even I like to think, I'm definitely open-minded. So I expect uh, the other party to also be open-minded because I want to be comfortable sharing different ideas or different um, perspectives about certain things or specific things like what's happening in our country at the moment. So I need you to respect what I'm going to tell you. But at the same time, yeah, you can obviously, if you disagree, do that, but respectfully, like you can. So I feel like friendships are based on a lot of things, being supportive and... Yeah, what was the question? I even forgot the question. What was the question? Sorry. Um, how do you become friends with people? Yeah, I think just from conversing with them, then... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. So the next, per the next question is, do you exercise? Why? So yeah, I've actually started exercising. Why? Because I want to look good. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't do much though, but I'd love to because I actually wanted to join gym. But with everything that's happening, you know, next thing the level is, um, the regulations are relaxed. The next thing they're not, gyms are open and then they're closed. So I'm not going to gym, but I would love to join gym one day. So, but I do home exercises like I skip and all of that, but not intense stuff yet. I would love to get into the intense things of life actually. So I will though very soon. Uh, the next question is, do you love being South African? Well, on this thread is actually, okay, I'll tell you. But anyway, do you love being South African? I love, love, love being South African because we always see the positive um, things in people or rather, no matter what's happening, like again, what's happening in our country, but you still find that, you know, we have a lot of sense of humor, very good sense of humor, but sometimes we get carried away. But I actually like it because it just... Yeah, I know people should read the room and not say certain things or joke a lot while the country is going through so much. But some of us need a little positivity. Some of us need a little laughter in order to get us through the day, in order to fight off the anxiety. So, 
I definitely love being South African because of that. So well, that's one of the reasons. I don't know what the other reasons are, but that's just what came to mind at the moment. What is your superpower? I don't have a superpower. I don't have a superpower. Do you like food? I mean, yeah, I do. Not big on food, but I, I mean, who doesn't like food? Um, can you cook? <laughs> I try. Truth be told, I try. I'm not gonna lie, I try. Um, where is your happy place? Um, my own space is my happy place. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's answering the question, but yeah, my own space is my happy place. Rate your shot shooting skills on a scale of 0 to 10. Shot shooting skills? Um, zero. <laughs> Literally zero. <laughs> Um, a very important first date question. Um, um, yo, I don't know. Um, a very important first date question. Um, six and a half hours later. <laughs> I don't know. Are you, um, uh, do you like singing? I don't... <laughs> I'm so shallow. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, whoa. I have... I very first... Um, do you believe in God? And why? Yeah. Do you know God for yourself? Oh, wow. And... Wow, okay. Do you know God for yourself? 100% I do. Uh, can you dance? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can, okay? In my head, I can, and I believe that one day I'm going to be able to, like, be a professional dancer. Okay, um, the next question is, what's the latest about your secondary school love? I didn't have one. This, the next question is, anything you wish you knew when you were younger? Um... I wish I knew that everything was going to be okay. Everything will turn out fine. Yeah. What is or are your love languages? Okay, so my first love language is words of affirmation. Um, my second love language is... Um, what's my second love language? Quality time. And then third, physical touch. And then... Pfft. Okay, so fine. I did the taste. Has ever had to compromise your principles? Yes. You uh, do you battle anxiety, insomnia, PTSD, and depression? I do. Question is, what was life like for you at twenty three? That was like two years ago. Let me think. Twenty three. I was in fourth year. Was I in fourth year? Yeah, cause twenty four final year. Twenty three. I was in fourth year. So, what was happening for? Oh, it was great. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was nice, baby girl. Oh wait, I'm lying. 23 that was 2018 yeah you and yeah, things were tough things were tough like uh, how do i explain it um i don't know i yo if you want to story time about 2018 comment below um list some of your favorite songs currently Jaira, Obsessed, Jaira by Maverick City and Elevation Worship, Wait On You, um, names, like that entire album, I am obsessed, like that's what I'm currently listening to and um, my favorites, that's all I've been listening to lately, now I can't think of any like pop song because I, I listen to a lot of R&B. So, especially like 90s and 2000s um, R&B. So yeah, I'll just mention those for now. What is the thing that you have always wanted to learn but haven't? Why haven't you learned it? I've always wanted to learn how to dance. <laughs> I haven't because, I mean, huh, nobody wants to teach me. But I am going to go to, uh, for dance classes very soon. So watch out. 
Would you rather handle a task alone because you know it, or would you prefer to work with a team, even if you can handle it alone? Uh, I'd rather work alone if I can handle it alone. But if I am in a team, sure, we can make it work. One song that you shared with someone you love or once loved. Uh, <laughs> um... Mm. Uh, um. <laughs> uh, next question you're headed to a destination and you suddenly see cars in front of you making a quick u-turn if you're driving how would you react if you're not driving what's plan b if i'm driving uh, i would probably turn back to like make a u-turn and if I'm not driving, what's plan B? Run. Or if I'm the passenger, I would, um, I don't know. Can you drive? Yes, I can. Craziest thing you've ever done? Mm, I don't know. I'm actually quite boring, so I don't know. Probably nothing. Um, do you know that breathing exercises are powerful? Very. I know. I know. I do know. Are you... Uh, electric or you have specific genres of music you love i do have like i said i enjoy r&b and um pop gospel all of that but not electric um ever met anyone that ticked all your boxes no <laughs> um mention a romantic moment that stuck in your memory none uh do you have a support circle or are you a loner i am a loner but i actually do have an amazing support circle how often do you have negative thoughts? Less often nowadays, actually. Less often. So I'd say I can't grade it, but I'm proud of where I am right now. And yeah, yeah, so less often. Ever experienced a car date? Nope. That one house chore you hate? I hate ironing. I hate ironing. Does that count? Because I hate it. Okay, so I think we have come to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this Q&A. It literally turned out how I didn't think it would. So I'm not sure if I'm going to upload it. If I upload it, then okay, girl. I don't know what's wrong with you, but hey. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.